Hi guys, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. So this video is all about how to look stylish. Now, I'm not including myself in one of these people that always look stylish. I'm the sort of person you will bump into me when I'm looking my worst. I'm dressed like a complete dag. I'm wearing no makeup and I probably have wet hair. And it's always those moments where I think I can just quickly duck out to run a few errands or grab something in the supermarket. Crap, I bump into someone I know and it's always so awkward and so embarrassing. Anyway, over time, I've become obsessed with those people that you always just happen to bump into out of the blue and they always look so well together, so well polished and just have this really healthy, natural, stylish and fabulous look about them. And over time, I've been analyzing and discussing with my girlfriends how these people just do it. And so I've put together my, I guess, my findings or my discoveries or my observations and I wanted to share them with you to see if this also may help inspire you to want to always look stylish and fabulous and not just look your best but actually feel your best inside. Number one, hair and makeup. Their makeup isn't caked on. It looks incredibly natural and they glow. There's just a little bit of blush. Their mascara is neatly put on, it's not smudged. They're not wearing a heavy strong lip, it might be just a little bit of like gloss or simply lip balm. Their nails aren't necessarily painted, they, but they look clean and they're neatly cut. And their hair looks healthy and happy and bouncy and looks like it's just been brushed. Those simple combination of things just help people look so much more put together and healthy. Number two is accessories. Whether it be a fabulous pair of like black cat eyed sunglasses or gold rimmed aviators or a really cool loud strong bold cuff or the layering of delicate gold um, pieces around the neck or the wrist, somehow it takes that outfit and takes it to a new level that just looks so much more sophisticated and stylish. Those key additions to an outfit that just take it to another level and make it so much more creative but also reflect that own person's individual styles and tastes. Number three is style. They don't just put on their clothes in the morning, they style them and wear them with flair. So they don't just put a simple white t-shirt on, they might roll up the sleeves or they might neatly tuck in a shirt all the way around a pair of jeans that really accentuates the, the waistline. Or they may take a really cool pair of pants and roll up the cuff that gives it a totally different look and feel. Or simply just scrunching up the sleeves of a shirt or a blouse to show the elbows, just giving it that sort of sexy, sophisticated look. Number four, shoes and handbags. Both the shoes and handbags are in good condition. They're not looking dirty or scuffed or tired. And often than not, they somehow match, whether it be the similar type of gold hardware or whether it be the same color or something about the same pattern or stitching, somehow they just look in sync together and help make the outfit all come together neatly. Number five, monochrome. Often they might be wearing, say, all black, but they don't look dull and boring and washed out because they've added a little pop of color, whether it be a really beautiful, strong red lip, or whether it be a really cool, bold necklace, or a brightly colored scarf, or a fantastic handbag that just like shines out from the outfit. They're the type of people that catch your eye as they walk down the street. Number six, jacket. Now, this is something I've discovered myself personally. If I'm looking a little bit shabby or dorky or not quite great, if I can put a jacket on, whether it be a blazer or a coat, it does kind of help my outfit come together and look that little bit more smarter and a little bit more serious and sophisticated. And again, that jacket looks like it's in good condition. It's well made, it sits on the body correctly the way it should do. 
and again it helps take that outfit from being simple to that little bit more stylish and fabulous. Number seven is fabric. When you look closely at the fabrics they're wearing, they don't look cheap and nasty. They look really well made, like they've actually taken care of their clothing and garments. They wear them with pride. The colors aren't faded, the stitching's intact, buttons are still neatly sewed on tightly. And most importantly, the clothes are ironed. I think at the end of the day, these people that always do look fabulous and stylish take that little bit of TLC. They take a couple of minutes before they walk out the front door to make sure that they're looking their best so that they feel their best. And when you're feeling good about yourself, you're able to handle those challenging situations with a little bit more dignity, self-love and pride. And one thing that I'm trying to do personally myself when I'm stepping out the front door with no makeup, wet hair and looking daggy and dorky, I'm starting to say to myself, how would I feel if I bumped into one of my ex-boyfriends looking like this? And I will quickly turn around and just do one or two simple things to try and look better and feel better about myself. So I hope this video inspires you to do something to help you feel better about yourself and the way you present yourself to the world. I hope that you're having a great week and I will see you next week for Lifestyle Love or Money Monday. Ciao.